Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Oops, sorry, <laughs> my alcohol. I hope you're feeling well. Let me just check something. Okay. I hope you're well. I hope you're fine, um, Sagittarius. This is your weekly collective tarot reading session for you. Okay. My voice is getting better and I'm so excited. So this is a weekly collective reading. Uh, this reading for today, we will be looking into love, career, finance, and general situationship. In today's reading, we will be using two cards. Okay. Let me just shuffle the cards. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you so much for your patience. Thanks for everything that you do for me. Okay. And the channel and the team. Okay. And, um, Thank you. Let's see. One more shuffle. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, I invite you to also please be part of our mailing list to do that. The link is down in the description box below. And um, I have a new channel. We will be uploading videos very soon there. It is the next 24 hours channel. And so that's a daily one. So if you want to connect with me, it's a different platform. Sorry, it's a different format. It's both, um, it's more of wisdom, intuition, and tarot cards, and oracle reading, and angel card reading. So I'm really excited to, um, yeah, to upload videos in the next 24 hours readings. So I hope you will be there and subscribe, okay? And then I've got, an exclusive, uh, ooh, 10 of cups. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Exciting times. And I've got an exclusive Sagittarius channel. I think some of you guys follow me there. So please keep on doing that. If you have not been, you know, visiting the channel, please also subscribe. Um, the name of the channel is Sagittarius Ascending. Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message for Sagittarius Career Finance? And if there's a love reading in here, I'll let you know. Let's see. Okay. I will be using this deck as the... Um, so I'm hitting the word, your future is sorted. Okay. Your future is sorted. Okay. Amazing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be using this deck to clarify. So in today's reading, we'll be looking at the recent past or the recent energy. And then we'll be looking into the current energies, you know, what's coming towards you, who's connecting towards you. And then we've got the immediate future. And depending on the message for today, I will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading. Okay. So coming in the recent past is you've got the Ten of Cups. There was something that made you feel really, there was something recently, something in the recent past that made you feel happy. Okay. It's a... Uh, for some of you, it's a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful feeling. Like it's been, it's been, it's been a while since you felt this Ten of Cups. Um, I feel like it's more of freedom or you release and you let go and you accept something. And then you felt more um, happier, okay? With acceptance, with appreciation, with gratitude you feel more and more happier. So the Ten of Cups, I really feel like it's more, of, it's, it's a light vibe. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a light, it's, it's good vibe. It's good vibe. Now, the reason why you felt recently good vibe through experiences, through letting go, through gratitude, through releasing something that's heavy or through working with someone or loving someone, it, it, it's just a good vibe. It's not super duper happiness. Like, you know, it's not artificial happiness, but it's simply, you know, it's, it's a feeling of contentment and you feel happy. So there was something that you have appreciated in your life and it made you feel happy that you don't need to go further to look for happiness. It's just within you. It's actually inside of you. So there was something that you click. You switch on this part of yourself and you felt good vibe and you felt happy. And it's been so long since you felt this way, this Ten of Cups. Sagittarius, like you know how to be happy without having so much or without having this person or this something. You basically have, like, you have the basic 
knowledge or you got the recipe on how to be happy without having so much or having this person, okay? There, there was something in that experience that made you feel like, okay, this is all I need. So that's really good, like simplicity. Yeah, nine of wands. And you're staying, you know. For some of you guys, this is like transform transformational. Transformation. Because for some of you, you, you feel happy, but you haven't figured it out on why do you feel more happier or grounded or um, more contented. Because there's something that click and you're staying and you're keeping it nine of wands. You're keeping it guarded. You're, you're protecting your happiness. Okay, You're protecting your happiness. You don't want to like you you for some of you you figure things out you for some of you guys you're still figuring things out that why do i feel this way because you realize that oh i feel happy contented and good vibe because i now know that i don't need you to be happy or i don't need so much to be happy you know within you is the mo the basic things you know sometimes free things makes you happy freedom makes you happy so there's something in here that you're guarding your happiness you don't want to you don't want to lose this part of you again or whatever this is that you've discovered or you're discovering or you're about to discover you don't want to lose this okay yeah death card you're saying goodbye you're saying goodbye to a belief system you're saying goodbye to a part of you that restricts you to understand that the basic happiness is just within me you don't need a lot. I'm really getting like nine of us. You don't need a lot. So there's something that you're saying goodbye because it doesn't add value in your life. You know, the more you want something, you felt like the more I want this, the more it doesn't make me feel happy. And when I have it, it doesn't make me feel, it doesn't, it, it wants me, it, like you want more, but it doesn't make you happy. Something of that vibe. And then you got less, but you're more happier. Like you don't need to go further in that you know, there's something basic that you connect. Oh, something simple makes me happy. So there's that vibe in here. Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands, and Death card. So you are saying goodbye to a belief system or maybe a person, a people, an energy that restricts you from understanding that the basic happiness, the basic, the component of happiness is just within you. The main part of what makes you happy is within you, you know. We, we were, you know, we, we, we came on earth, you know, in, in this, you know, as a human alone, you know, we will, we will die alone. And most of the time, the, the, the longest relationship that we will have in this lifetime is to ourself. And you realize that we, I have the basic thing, you know, component ingredients to be happy. Okay. So that's really good. You're coming home. I, I felt like there's something in here that you felt more at home to just what you have or you or whatever surrounds you. Now, you've got nine of wands. Wow. Look at that. This is nine. And this is also nine. Mm. In With this nine of wands, you're guarding, you're protecting your energy and whatever it is that you, you discover to feel empowered, happy, contented, confident. Okay? Now... With the nine of wands, you're pushing away a thought, a person, a feeling. Like you're very protective of whatever it is. And another nine again. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine is an ending. So there is something that you are saying goodbye in order for you to embrace I don't know, newness. But there's something in here that's about you. You're transforming. You're like an alchemist. You know, um, from something so, like, you're, you're not even recycling in here. It could be, a, you know, a post-eclipse, um, a post-eclipse message. But look at you. You are, you're very picky. From understanding this, you're now being picky. You don't want to complicate, you, you don't want to complicate your life in here. So you understand, okay, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it basic. I'm happy. Now, as you keep it simple, you keep it basic, you protect. Nine of Wands, you're pushing thoughts, feelings, energy, people, person. That will take you away from this contentment. For some of you, you're still in the process, okay? Yeah, judgment card, right? 
you know, go away, come again. When you are at the same frequency as I am. Last judgment card. Let's see who is this. Wow. Page of Cups. So there is a situation or a person that is probably trying to reach you out but you block them. There's a person, there's a situation that is connecting with you but you're blocking them or you're preventing them to take over you. Because you've just emerged from something really important. You've just gotten yourself back. Like, there's a feeling in here that you've just pulled yourself together, Sagittarius. And you don't want to lose again yourself in the process of falling in love, in the process of pleasing people, in the process of being ambitious. Being ambitious. So there's something that your, your, your core integrity... Your, your core confident, the very core being of you, you just got that and you don't want to lose it. So you're protective of that. Now, there are still some people, person, situation that will connect to you. It's coming from the past and you're protecting yourself from this person or situation. This person, um, if they haven't called you or texted you, they will be around again. They're going to tease you to connect. And this person or this situation will trigger you. You know, it's, it's more of, you want this person or this, like you, you want this person or this job or this energy or this situation to happen. You can't get it for some reason. And it made you feel desperate. It made you feel frustrated. And you let go. When you let go, you release the energy. And your life or the past few days or weeks, it feels so light because you've let go of something you cannot control. Now, you're more happier. Okay, simple things as letting go, you know, taking out of control. It's it feels different. It feels light and good vibe. Now, the same person, people, situation, energy. You might be done with them, but they're not done with you. They will be around. They will test you. They will tease you, and it will trigger you. Like it's it's a trigger, you know? and you're scared to connect because it triggers you to like. There's now a reminder to you that. I am scared to connect, to reply, to interact, to even try to let you in, to even think about you because you will trigger me. Yes, I want you, but I can't have you and you're around and you're teasing me to connect and you trigger me. I don't want to go back there again where you will trigger me to be frustrated. So you are protecting yourself in here with this person or situation or energy that you know it's hard to get, you know. Like you you finally clean up something and you're like, you will trigger me to be frustrated again. Go away. Nine of cups. So you're distancing yourself, you know. I mean, this is your wish. It could be an ambition, a person, a situation, an energy. It's around you, you know. It's teasing you to connect, to try, to open the Pandora's box. But you're like, no. You know, like you're, you're, you're one of my wish fulfillment, but it's a wish. It never really manifested or it, it, it's far from reality. You're, you're the person or the ambition or the thing that I want, but it's so, it's so difficult for you to be in a reality. And the more I put myself closer to you, it triggers me to be frustrated. So there's something in here that, yep. Yeah, I want you, but I can't have you. Or it's so difficult to get you. Or in the process of getting you, it frustrates me. So the fact that you're going closer to me, getting closer to me, it triggers me. So you are, you know, you're pushing the cups. Yes, you're my wish, but you frustrate me. So I'm going to move away from you because you will trigger me again to be something I don't want to be. So you're quite in a vulner vulnerable stage, Sagittarius. Yeah, justice card. You're being, you're really being fair to yourself. You're being fair to yourself, man. You know, you've worked hard to discontentment, to understanding. You know, yeah, four of cups. You're looking at it like it's so enticing. It's, it. You know, imagine you've imagine you've been dieting, and you finally had a breakthrough with your diet. You, you went on a diet for health purpose, for, you know, to maintain weight and stuff. But imagine you're on diet, okay? Um, for example, myself, I am no coffee. So I promised myself I'm not going to have coffee for 10 days. I will avoid coffee. 
and I was successful. It's now my day eight, no coffee, okay? And then you were given, gifted, invited for a coffee and you're like, wow, I wanna try it, four of cups. But no, I've come a long way to, you know, to ignore or to push back the very thing that I want because the very thing that I want can also destroy me and my diet and stuff like that. So there's something that you want but you can't have it or it's not healthy for you to have it, okay? I'm being like, what do you call this? My it's my example is like, yeah, just, you, what's the term for that English, the English term for my example? Metaphorical? No, oof, that's a term. But you know, like whatever you want, you can have it, but it's not good for you. Something of that vibe and it's here. And you manage to distance yourself away from that. You know, sometimes... Sometimes with, with my example, you know, with coffee is my weakness. You can have it, but it's not good for you. You know, this is the vibe I'm getting in here. So you manage to learn how to put yourself away or to distance yourself from something, a person, an energy that it's not good for you right now or something that you can have it, but you cannot manage it. You know, there's a part of that reading in there because you want to be fair for yourself and you want to be fair because you... You've come a long way, you know. So good on you, Sagittarius. Now, so overall, your energy is like you're good. You're in control, okay? It's not perfect, but you're in control, okay? Now, the person, the situation, the energy that's connecting with you, that's coming towards you with this energy is the king of coins. So the someone at work, or related to money, productivity, um, that would offer you, you know, are you ready, Sagittarius? Are you ready to commit with me, to do business with me, to be with me? Okay, it's connected to money, it's a father, it's an uncle, it's a male. So there is something in the next two to three weeks that will, are you ready? You know, are you ready? Can you do it? Can you go back to eight to five job? Can you do this business? Can you manage this? You know? Someone is going to offer you a king of pentacles. Yeah, seven of swords. This is a classic example of you want this, but are you ready? Can you manage it? You know, so for example, you, you want a business. Now it's here. You're nervous because can you actually manage it? So the universe is asking you, I'm going to give you what you want. Because this is, you are, you're good. So the universe, Sagittarius, felt that you're ready. You're okay. Now I'm going to give you this. Are you ready to accept this King of Pentacles? Could be a person, could be a relationship. It could be a business partner. But it's someone that brings practical connection, money to you. Can you manage it? Seven of Swords. I'll give you this. But with this, it, it's like, you know, with what, what's that um, quote from Spider-Man? With great power comes great resp great responsibility. Is that correct? So this person, this situation gives you money. It's so practical, so doable, but it also has a responsibility. So there's something in the next in the next two to three weeks that will connect to you. That will connect to your energy, being ready. Can you manage it? Can you manage this person, this business? Yeah, page of swords. You will get a message, an email, communication. Yep, we approve you. A loan, job, maybe a person, but can you manage this? Great opportunity, great person. It also have a responsibility. With you being, you've just gotten out of this. Are you ready? Yeah, this question. Now, of course, you've got a star card. There's something connected to your dream. Like, there's something connected to... It's not even a wish. It's a dream. It's like a dream come through, star card. Like, wish upon a star. But this is like... Like if I will, the star card, this is something that you wish. It's, 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 it's coming sooner than later. So for example, you wish to be, you wish you dream of being, it's big. You know, that I always find because you are healing with this vibe. You're healing, you're ready. There is a big check and there's a big awakening that you've discovered on your own because you have managed to discover that 
the universe felt like you've been grounded and you're ready to get your dream. Okay, one of that is this, and what if this the star card? Okay, let's see. Nine of Swords and the Moon card. There's something big. For some of you, you might get pregnant, you might get an offer abroad, you might get it's big. There's something that you will get in the next two up until July. So May, June, July, there's going to be an opportunity where it's still reshaping and it's a big ambition. It's one of your wish and dream. And it's here. Now, again, the universe is asking you, emotionally, can you do it? Mentally, I think you're up for the challenge. Because Nine of Swords, you know, it's a lot, but I want it. But emotionally, can you do it? So the universe is giving you a lot of options. The universe is listening to you. The universe felt how ready you are, Sagittarius. You've got two back-to-back -back offer in here. Now, you've got the temperance card. Wow, the lover's card again. There's two. Now, this is romantic. Look at that. Uh, sorry, I thought it was a love. this was a lover. But now, okay. The world card. Someone overseas. The three of wands. So, I feel like in the next two, three, four weeks, in the next two to three, four weeks, Sagittarius, your focus is you, ambition, travel, productivity, learning, money, like getting your core connection, like getting your core, like getting yourself equipped with the right knowledge, feeling, getting yourself stronger, okay? Um, that's your focus, getting yourself stronger, getting your integrity, your confidence, your learning, because you're going to rule your world again, okay? You're dominating your life, okay? There's, so for some of you guys, you lost a part of you. You're, you, you're like, you've been st like stalling, like you've been floating. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. So you've been floating. So you've been floating and stalling. Now you finally grounded yourself and you're pulling your all of your strength, your power, your skills. Or you're getting yourself to the core again, integrated. Now, as you do that, the universe will give you a kicker, uh, a twist, a plot twist. I feel like you're somehow not ready to be in a relationship because you have so much to discover about yourself, your world again, okay? The lover's card, the world card, the three of wands. Something is in the horizon for you in terms of love. And it's a soulmate in the world three one. There's three person coming your way in the next three months. Two person from the past and one someone new. This will rock your world. Because while you pull yourself together, the universe is giving you options in terms of love. Get ready, okay? Get ready, okay? The universe is giving you all of this because you're ready. There's something that, I don't know, happened after the full, you know, the eclipse in Scorpio that made you ready, that made you understood a lot of things in the past. Queen of Pentacles, hidden energy. This is you. You're going to look at your opportunities and you're going to choose. And you're going to choose money. Before, you're thinking knowledge is power. No. For you, you're going to change your perspective. Money is power. So as much as you would like this, it doesn't generate money for some of you. You'll choose to be more powerful and you'll generate money. So for some of you, you're going to focus on money. Okay? The strength card is in here. Brave. Three of Wands. There's something about you, Sagittarius, that before you take a leap of faith or take a risk again with love or relationship, or for some of you, if you are in a relationship, before you take care of other people and be worried about them and help them and support them, you're going to sort yourself out. Queen of Pentacles. You're going to make your coins stronger. Strength card, you're going to look at your skills, your talents, and you're going to hone it. You're going to be, you're going to remind yourself in the immediate future, I'm seeing you, to get money, you're going to open Pandora's box and look at your skills, your talent, your, your, your strength, and revive that because you know 
that in order for you to tap into good salary money business you've got to recall how powerful your strength your integrity your hard-working knowledge for some of you i'm seeing you guys looking at old photos looking at other emails looking into the past and and kind of reminding yourself three of ones that hey i was once a powerful you know i was an ambitious person i was this i was that let me tap into that energy because i need that with my future so this reading is all about you and how you are going to march and get your back together your life together and you're going to start on yourself your ambition Okay, you're going to start that. You're, for some of you, before you do love, you are going to do your ambition. You're going to go to school. You're going to read a lot of books. You're going to be reminded of your skills. You're reviewing your resumes for some of you. You're going to be attending a lot of interviews. You're going to connect to the world again in some, in, in a different level. You know, you've just gotten yourself or your life back. And you're not going to lose it for, for other people, even for love. And it's good. You know, so they can wait. You've served the world, other people, you know, it, now it's, it's, it, this is going to be all about you. Yes. So this is a very good base to work on after the eclipse. It's very empowering. So good luck guys. And, um, this is your reading. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. It's amazing. Um, full, you know, it's still, you know, I feel like the eclipse, the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, it's it's a, it's a shake up. It's going to propel us to go to not even the next level. You Sagittarius will jump into level 5. And then you're going to jump to level 10. <laughs> you don't go to the normal process you want. You're very ambitious and driven. And you're starting within you. You're turning on the spark. Okay. And it's crazy ambitious and rock and roll when you turn on that spark. You guys are unstoppable. So I'm feeling it in here. Okay. And... The effect of this full moon eclipse in Scorpio is up until October. And I tell you, you know, you've got five months, amazing five months to transform your life. So good luck to you. You've got this power. You've got this vibe, Sagittarius, that you feel like you have this confidence to reshape your life to whatever and however you want it. And people can wait. You've served them well. Now it's going to be about you. Okay. So thank you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.